Welcome to my YouTube channel which is titled Research Methods Class with Dr. Lydia Wabugo. In this class, we discuss everything social science research from understanding the research discipline, research philosophy, the elements of scientific research, and the methodologies of conducting research. In research methods, we have a book titled Research Methods, Theory and Practice. This book is accessible through the website where you can access the hard copy of the book or a downloadable PDF format of the book. In the same website, you are able to access all the courses which includes the free research methods course, IBM SPSS statistics course, M&E consultancy course which are available at a fee. Please find the links in the description. Welcome. Welcome to our lesson where we are going to discuss how to choose the statistical test to use. In our previous lesson, we have discussed statistical tests. We have said that statistical tests are used to determine whether we will reject the null hypothesis or we shall fail to reject a hypothesis. We have also mentioned that we have two types of statistical test. We have parametric that make assumption about population parameters and we have non-parametric or assumption free tests because they make very few assumptions. We have also discussed the three forms of statistical tests and these are correlation, regression and comparing means. In this lesson today, we are going to discuss the factors that we consider when choosing the right statistical test and we will also look at the various types of statistical tools. Don't confuse between a statistical test and a statistical tool. So statistical test comes from the three forms that we have discussed whereas the tool is the one that you use to analyze and present your data. So you determine the test and from the test you identify the tool. If we can give an example, at a correlation which is a statistical test, you can determine or you can decide to use Pearson or Spearman. Pearson product moment correlation coefficient is for continuous data whereas Spearman rank order correlation coefficient is for ordinal or ranked data. So Pearson and Spearman are statistical tools while correlation is the statistical test. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to state the factors to consider when choosing statistical test and two, identify the various types of statistical tools. Now, one of the most common questions that a researcher asks during data analysis is, which statistical tool should I use to analyze my data? is a very pertinent question that every researcher needs to ask him or herself because the statistical tool you use determines the interpretation that you can make, the conclusions and recommendations that you will give out of your research study. It is key to remember that the choice of statistical tool is dependent on a number of factors that we are going to discuss. The first one is what is the research question or what were the research questions that you stated so that you can answer the research problem. When you state your question on what is the relationship between X and Y or how does X influence Y or to what extent does X influence Y, it means that the type of statistical tool that you will select will be the one that is appropriate to answer that research question. The other factor is the scale of measurement. At what level have you measured your variable? 
Now, is it at the nominal, ordinal, interval or ratio? We have statistical tools that are appropriate for categorical data. That is data that is measured at nominal and ordinal. And we have statistical tools that are appropriate for continuous or scale data. That is data that is measured at interval or ratio. For instance, when you talk about chi-square, chi-square is used to determine the relationship between categorical variables. But when you talk about Pearson, Pearson is used to determine the relationship between continuous variable, especially the dependent variable. So the scale of measurement is key to always remember anytime you are thinking about the statistical tool to use, you always ask yourself, what is the scale of measurement? The third one, what is the dependent variable and what type of variable is it? Why do we talk about dependent? Because dependent variable is key. It determines the statistical tool. For instance, if you have a dependent variable that is categorical and a dependent variable that is continuous, then you may not use the same form of statistical test. For instance, Spearman will be for categorical dependent variable, whereas Pearson is for continuous dependent variable. Then when we ask what type of variable, we are asking ourselves, is it a binary categorical variable? Is it discrete quantitative variable or continuous variable? What type of variable is it? Number four, how many independent variables do you have and what data types are they? How many independent variables? Think about regression. If you have simple linear regression, that is used when you have one independent variable and one dependent variable. But when you talk about multiple regression, then you're talking about more than one independent variable. Number five, are you interested in comparing means or investigating relationship? When you're comparing means, you are thinking about t-test. When you are investigating relationship, you are thinking about correlation. So comparison of means based on the sample, you will be thinking about t-test, you'll be thinking about one way ANOVA or f-test. Whereas if it is relationship, you are thinking about correlation. If you want to predict, you are thinking about regression. Number six, do you have repeated measurements of the same variable for each subject? Now, this becomes key, especially when you are comparing means, because that is when you ask yourself, do I have repeated measurements? Note that research questions should be clear with measurable quantities, and that is why we normally draw a conceptual framework. A conceptual framework is another way of measuring. Remember, Earlier on, we said measurement goes beyond data collection. Even when you are drawing a conceptual framework where you show how variables will be measured based on their indicators, you are measuring. So you need to have very clear research questions, which have become even more clear by drawing a conceptual framework which shows how the variables have been measured using the indicators. The other thing you need to note is that what type of data will answer the research question? The type of data means that will it be continuous or will it be categorical? Which variables will help answer these questions? Will they be the binary, the quantitative, the categorical, or what type of variables? And then what test is needed? Is it correlation? Is it regression? Or is it comparing means? So, we had mentioned that dependent variable is very key because when the dependent variable is scale, that means it is continuous or it is measured at interval and ratio, will require different statistical tools than when it is either measured at categorical, that is ordinal and nominal. So let's look at a few statistical tools that you select based on the type of variables that you have. When you have two categorical variables, 
where both the dependent and the independent are categorical, then the best inferential statistics is chi-square. When you have two scale variables and you are testing relationship and both of them are scale, meaning they are measured at interval or ratio, then the best statistical tool to use is Pearson product moment correlation coefficient. When you are predicting, predicting the value of the dependent variable based on the value of the dependent variable, and you have a scale dependent variable, then you use simple linear regression. If you have more than one independent variable, then you use multiple linear regression. If you have a binary, that means a categorical dependent variable, then you use logistic regression. Now, when we are comparing means, you ask yourself, Am I comparing means between groups where if you have more than two, you use independent t-test. If there are more than three groups, you use one way ANOVA. When we are comparing measurements within the same subject, within the same subject, and we have two groups, then we, we use paired t-test. If we have more than three, then we use repeated measures ANOVA. This table will also help us to remember the parametric and non-parametric tests. So we have parametric tests, which we said for you to use parametric, then they need to have the assumptions that we have mentioned in our previous lesson. And when we are using non-parametric tests, these are the tests that are also called assumption-free because they make very few assumptions. And one of them is that data is not drawn from a normally distributed population. And that brings us to the end of our lesson where we have talked about the factors that you need to consider when you are choosing a statistical test. We have also listed the types of statistical tools that you can select based on the type of data or the scale of measurement. In our next lesson, we are going to start discussing the research proposal. But before then, make sure you visit the researchmethodsclass.com website where you can watch the full research methods course. You can also access other courses on SPSS and m and &E consultancy. You are also able to book for consultation and you can also buy the research methods ebook. So see you in our next lesson as we talk about the research proposal.